hi people radioactive iodine is very very important for your exam nine times it has been asked so far in uh, rs scheme so you please focus on this video now iodine stable isotope is 127 okay uh, but less than that that is 123 you can use for diagnosis of thyroid problems but as anti-thyroid if you want then you will use iodine 131 did you understand are you sleeping wake up see iodine is stable isotope is 127 if you want to use iodine for diagnosis you can use iodine 123 but if you want it as an anti-thyroid drug you have to use iodine 131 understood good it has a half life of eight days this is just some extra information for you how does this radioactive iodine help in becoming an anti-thyroid drug basically what it will do it will emit it will be absorbed the same way as normal iodine into the thyroid gland and uh, it will enter the follicle cells and the colloid it will start emitting gamma rays and beta particles see the words are very important here don't say gamma particle it's gamma rays because they don't have a charge right gamma rays and beta particle these beta particles they will destroy the follicular cells who will destroy the fo follicular cells all of you tell beta particles will destroy the thyroid follicular cells very good this will lead to fibrosis and the gland will become fibrosed and this will lead to the correction of the hyperthyroid state understood not understood understood right yes so the thyroid follicle cells are itself destroyed okay good now how will you give this preparation how will you give it's given orally so simple you'll just mix it with water and give you know that iodine 131 radioactive my god the dose is expressed in micro curie fine micro is actually written here this is micro micro curie actually will give for diagnostic purpose for uh, curie as antithyroid you will give this milli curie actually radioactive iodine uh, which is used uh, why will you use it at all why why should you use uh, radioactive iodine yes because if thyroid gland has there is hyperthyroidism and you can't do surgery then only you will use this okay why can't you do surgery because the thyroid gland already has a carcinoma probably okay adenoma or a carcinoma then you will use this uh, radioactive iodine to destroy this cancerous tissue understood who and all understood everybody understood excellent so um whenever surgery is not feasible or it's contraindicated and there is a thyroid carcinoma and adenoma then you can destroy the thyroid with radioactive iodine you can also use it especially when these situations occur hyperthyroidism when it occurs in graves disease and toxic nodular goiter don't give it to every case of grave disease or toxic nodular goiter basically when surgery is not possible okay that is your main key here when surgery is not feasible or contraindicated that should be the line you should focus on contraindication you should not use in pregnancy you should not use in children and you should not use in nursing mothers why why let me tell you see pregnancy what happens when you give radioactive substance teratogenicity yes it also can cause the death i mean the the thyroid of the fetus may also get destroyed that's something that you should focus on children why you should not give you will destroy the thyroid in the child and how the child how will the child survive lifelong it will be dependent on thyroxine right lifelong dependency on thyroxine not good so don't do this kind of stuff in children nursing mothers similar cause protecting the baby okay what are the advantages of this the advantages is it is oral treatment it doesn't require hospitalization at all you can just do it as an outpatient thing it's very low cost no surgery no scar of surgery and the thing is if it works and if it has uh, it's going to destroy the thyroid tissue it is cures permanently it will cure hyperthyroidism okay now disadvantage what are the disadvantages of this treatment what do you think see the thing is it is slow acting it acts only after two weeks it starts acting only after two weeks and then you might need to give repeat dose also and there'll be soreness of neck and one thing is it might it might lead instead of destroying this much of thyroid tissue it will destroy so much that it can lead to hypothyroidism okay 
then like I told you in pregnant women don't give these are contraindications it can destroy the fetal thyroid gland in children you should not give out young patients you should not give because you will make them you will destroy their thyroid and they'll become lifelong dependent on thyroxine okay uh, this question is very very important for you like I said so if you have any uh, you know if you have any doubts read more about this some uh, I'm seeing that in KDT it says that these emit x-rays also interesting okay so what and all we saw iodine uh, stable is 127 therapy uh, diagnostic is 123 antithyroid effect is given by 131 iodine and uh, the two things it emits gamma rays and beta particles beta particles are the ones that are going to destroy the follicular tissue follicular cells and it is going to cause the fibrosis of that and um, you will use this only if surgery is not possible you are going to it's very convenient just give uh, orally no need of any hospitalization don't give it to pregnant people don't give it to children or young adults young people i wouldn't say young adults actually they have written here that below 25 don't give it okay 